Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment the links to our social media are coming up on the screen now including things like our Patreon where you can receive exclusive extra content and help support us here at the channel. Today I'm here at the Mid Suffolk Light Railway as it says on the cap as we continue to support the Love Your Railway campaign and this week we're talking about family and I know what you're thinking Laurie are you really the most suitable person to talk to us about this matter? And I say, bear with me on this. Because I know as soon as I say family in heritage railways, a lot of you will turn off immediately thinking of a certain blue tank engine. And if not, you might be thinking of days where you have volunteers dressed up as kids' characters and think how annoying that is on my day out to the railway. It's very important that we remember that family and families are the bread and butter of our railways. Without families coming and buying tickets, our trains won't run. Families having a day out and visiting are the very reason that we get to do and enjoy our hobby. There are not enough enthusiasts, there are enough people in the enthusiast circles to help keep it going. Yes, there are lots of enthusiasts and lots of people who put money in to help support us with projects like rebuilding, keeping things going, but it's not enough. Families are the reason that heritage can continue. And it's important that we remember this. We're a heritage railway here giving days out to families. And this is important for multiple reasons, not just because they buy the tickets. Families are important because they bring with them the next generation. They bring children to the railway. Children who that we can inspire, who we can give positive memories that they want to come back time and time again and buy more tickets and help us survive. And then hopefully they'll have strong memories of this place as they grow older and they'll want to come back and help it continue. Every time families visit the railway, there's a chance there to inspire somebody, to bring a new volunteer, a new generation into the railway, into heritage. It's the best way to ensure that we have a good future and that everything that we do today will continue is that when that family comes, we give them a good day out and we make sure that those kids are excited. They want to come back. Talking to them about engines, showing enthusiasm. I know we all have hard days where things go wrong and we don't want to talk to the public, but it's always important to try and go that little bit extra and make their adventure, their day out worthwhile. Because if we don't, and they don't get excited when they see heritage and they don't have strong memories associated with it. They'll grow up and they won't care. And there's not enough of me around to keep all of this going. We already need to inspire that next generation. So families are the most important thing. Not only do they keep us going, they represent the future of our heritage. So next time you see a day where it's a day out with a certain blue engine or kids' characters. Remember how important it is that because even if we can just inspire one of those visitors and get them to come, that's one more pair of hands, one more of the next generation who wants to be part of it. And I know from an enthusiast point of view, they're annoying. I've gone to events where you see engines with big faces on the front or pumpkins or weird things. And as an enthusiast, it annoys me. That ruins my photo. But I understand how important it is. And I think a lot of railways haven't quite got that yet. They still think that they're an enthusiast place for enthusiasts. They haven't realized that those days have passed. Many of the enthusiasts who once would have been there aren't with us anymore. And they have to move with the times. And they have to be a place for families and I don't mean change what you do, change the whole place, rip this down and turn it into a certain blue tank engine land. It's about coming up with ideas that will bring families in, whilst remaining true to what you are, but making it accessible to a new generation, making it exciting to a new generation, and giving people value for coming, giving them a reason to come and a good day out so they'll want to come again. And it's simple things like having a good tea room, having a good shop, it's all stuff that makes it a good day out. And of course, making it worth their while. And then with family, there is a completely 
other reason when we talk about it in heritage circles. And it isn't the family's coming, but it's the family that you experience when you join somewhere like this. I've been part of the Mid Suffolk for, well, almost 15 years now. And as such, I am part of the old furniture here. But it's a wonderful sense of family because it's very important to remember that family isn't just blood. Family is who you choose and what you make your family. A place like this, this is family. People that you know and that you trust and that when you see them, you're excited. People that you know and associate with good times. That's what family is. That's what family should be. People who support you, people who invest time in you, people who help to make you a better person. That's what a family is. And so many people don't realize that the best family are the people you find around you somewhere like this. And being part of it brings you into that family. Some of the best times I've had have been when volunteering with the people here and at other railways who are my extended family. They're wonderful people who I enjoy spending time with. Like we have a common bond, a love of heritage and this place particularly. We love being here. We love supporting. We love the stories that I've told you in other videos. We love this place and that bond is so strong and it's a wonderful thing. So when we say families in heritage, I know that so often so many people are just turned off immediately, but it is everything to do with our future and it's everything to do with our now the sense of family being here, and the future. After volunteering, family is the most important thing in heritage. And that's really my thoughts on the subject. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments below, do you think family is important? Or do you think that I'm talking absolute rubbish? Quite possible. And if you have enjoyed this one and you want more on the Love Your Railway campaign, click there or there for the other videos we've done talking and taking part in Love Your Railway. And of course, if you want more information on where I am now, the Mid Suffolk Light Railway, then the information is in the video description for their website. Thanks for watching guys. And remember, love your railway.